All right, welcome to the lectures of rheumatology, one of the most important topic like the Bashes syndrome. Bashes syndrome, what is written in your notes, just follow me. Bashes syndrome is a complex multi-system disorders associated with the presumed autoimmune mediated inflammation of the arteries and veins. The precious etiology has yet to be elucidated. however, the classic trial of the symptoms are oral ulcers, genital ulcers, and anterior uveitis. Epidemiology, this is more common in the East, Eastern Mediterranean like Turkish peoples, more common in the men. Complicated gender distribution which varies according to country, overall bashes is considered to be more common and more severe in men. Tends to affect the young adults like the 20 to 40 years old. That's where they tell B5 and MICA6 allele. As I said, the MICA allele, all right? Around 30% of the patients have the positive hemorrhage history. What are the features? Classically, number one, oral ulcer, genital ulcer, and anterior uveitis. Thrombophlebitis, arthritis, neurological involvement like aseptic meningitis, GIT involvement like abdominal pain, diarrhea, colitis, and erythema nodosum, DVT, and diagnosis, no definitive test. Diagnosis based on the clinical findings. Positive pathology test is suggested. Puncture site following needle prick becomes inflamed with a small pustule forming. So, Bashes syndrome is one of the most important hot topic. So, remembering all of these important features is really a bit of tough. So how can you remember? We'll see and look at the book. So we'll write the box, as we say, the SS box for the Bashes syndrome. So we'll write the Bashes syndrome, the word the BS, it will be helpful, Bashes syndrome. All right. So Bashes syndrome, we'll write on that. So before going to the full diseases features, so you, we must remember the Bashes syndrome is nothing but the use. Use means the three U. U means U means ulcer. U means ulcer. U means uveitis. Bashes syndrome is nothing but use. Once again, ulcer means the oral ulcer. Second ulcer is the genital ulcer and third you for the uveitis so that this disease syndrome Bashes syndrome rather than a disease so this syndrome is a trial of you means the ulcer you means the ulcer and you means the uveitis so three years all together make the diagnosis likely the Bashes syndrome so a bit of oral genital ulcers is another another important topic and the important heading that can make the candidates to be confused so before going to the Bashes syndrome full in details we need to write a bit of orogenital ulcers DDs what are the DDs of orogenital ulcers number one we can write the Bashes syndrome number one number two we can write the reactive arthritis we can write R small e a reactive arthritis and number three there is the inflammatory bowel disease so these three diseases out of these three diseases there are long list of diseases they can produce also the oral ulcer and so general ulcer but how can you differentiate if the patient having the oral plus genital both ulcers together the Bashes syndrome is the likely diagnosis but if the patient having the genital ulcer G use is prominent oral ulcer O use that is the reactive arthritis I means the oral ulcers is more prominent or maybe the oral ulcer is the feature rather than the genital ulcers so this is the IBD so we can remember so both oral and genital ulcer is the Bashes syndrome genital ulcer for reactive arthritis and oral ulcers for the IBD so once again, IBD oral ulcer, reactive arthritis genital ulcer, and Bashes syndrome oral genital ulcer. So once again, Bashes syndrome oral genital ulcer, reactive arthritis genital ulcer, and IBD inflammatory bowel disease oral ulcers, likely presentation or likely features. 
So let's see how this Bechet syndrome and all other features we can remember. So the Bechet syndrome stands on the BS. Bechet syndrome, that is the BS, all right? So we can put the B, the mnemonics, so with the B we can remember the features. So we can write B for Bechet is a Turkish man of 20. It will be helpful. T, T, B, B, T. All right. So it will be helpful. So once again, B for B stands for the Bechet is a Turkish man of 20. So let's speak it out once again. Bechet is a Turkish man of 20. Next B, it will be helpful. That is the H L A B block letter five. So within the bracket, just write it down H L A B fifty one. Bracket down. So once again, you can write within the bracket small B M I C A six B Mica. We can write. But the thing is the mica, M-I-C-A-6, alleles, as we already read it out, what is written in your notes. So once again, B stands for the HLA B5, HLA B51, and also the B-M-I-C-A-6. We can remember. Next B stands for the, we can say, vasculitis, even though the Spelling is the B, vasculitis. No problem. We can write the vasculitis. No problem, vasculitis. And next B stands on the venous thromboembolism. So once again, the venous, all right. We can write the venous thromboembolism. And last B stands on, we can write the B. If you write, just make the B into the P. So B for Bethargy test, we can write, no problem. Bethargy test. Means the Bethargy test, right? So write it down within the bracket of the Bethargy test. So it will be helpful, P for Bethargy, P for Pancha, P for Prick, P for Pustule. It will be helpful, really. So write it down within the bracket of the pathology test. Pathology test, puncture, prick, pustule. Pathology, puncture, prick, pustule. So once again, these five Bs you see that you can, we, we, we can remember. One of the most important B for Bash is a Turkish man of 20. And second B stands for the HLA B5 or HLA B51 or B M I C A 6 L E. Next B on the vasculitis and B for the venous thromboembolism. And last but not the least B for the pathology test. Means the pathology test once again. So P for puncture, pre, posture. It will be helpful to remember all the features of the Bechet syndrome. So among all of these features, if one feature, if I say you must remember that is the venous thromboembolism we must remember. As I say, the features of Bechet syndrome, the starting with the use, the rule of use. Use means the ulcer, oral ulcer, genital ulcer, and uveitis. Ulcer, ulcer, uveitis. So let's see, so that U stands on, we can write a bit here, U for ulcer, U for ulcer, U for uveitis. So it will be helpful, right, to remember the features of the Bechet syndrome. As I said, the Bechet syndrome is a triad of ulcer, ulcer, and uveitis. So before, just after the U, what is this? B. So once again, venous thrombosis. What I said? 
the one of the most important feature along with the use that you must remember the V for venous thrombosis which is making your diagnosis clinically likely to be the Bashar syndrome so once again Bashar syndrome is the three U's U for ulcer, oral ulcer, U for ulcer, general ulcer U for uveitis and V for venous thrombosis so that's so to make the diagnosis of the Vesha syndrome more likely. Along with the other some features that will be helpful more and more more likely to diagnose the Vesha syndrome. How it is helpful and they will be helpful, let's say. Before the U, what is the letter? Everybody knows the T. So we can write the thrombophlebitis. Once again, as I said, the vasculitis. So once again, the thrombophlebitis we can write. And before the T is the S, S for skin involvement. Within the bracket of the skin, you write the erythema nodosum. And S for skin, and S for we can write AS, septic, means the aseptic meningitis. Before the S is the R, so R for small a, arthritis we can write, R is a block letter, so it will be helpful to remember as, as the style and the pattern that I am writing, please follow that, it will be really really helpful. Next before the R is really in for the Q, write the letter, so Q for colitis we can write, so within the bracket we can write the real name of the colitis it will be present or I along with the abdominal pain and diarrhea is a feature. Before the Q is the P, once again P stands for the pathology test. So what I have done actually. So we start with the use, we start with the next to the U is the V. So U for ulcer, U for ulcer, U for uveitis and V is the venous thromb thromb thrombosis. So these, these are the important features. And before the UV and before the U, you start with the T, thrombophlebitis, S for skin, S for aseptic meningitis, we can write, R for arthritis, Q for colitis, A and to A abdominal pain and diarrhea, and P for pathogenesis. Means we can write and make a box for the Bashes syndrome equal to P Q R S T U V box. You a big bigger than other features. We can write in that way. Means we can write a box for the Bashes syndrome. It will be helpful for all these things together to remember the Bashes syndrome. So Bashes syndrome equal to U of course, but we can write the Bashes syndrome equal to P Q R S T U V. It will be helpful. Right? So starting with the Bashes syndrome, P Q R S T U V. So once again, U for uveitis, U for ulcer, U for ulcer. Well, so once again, ulcer, ulcer, uveitis, B for venous thrombo thrombosis, T for thrombophlebitis, S for skin involvement. R for arthritis, Q for colitis, P for pathology test. So once again, Bashes syndrome, P for pathology test, Q for colitis, R for arthritis, S for skin, T for thrombophlebitis, U for ulcer, ulcer, uveitis, and V for venous thrombosis. So the summary is for the Bashes syndrome once again. So Bashes syndrome equals the rule of B's. So you must remember Bashes is a Bashes is the Turkish man of 20. We can remember in that way. Once again, Bashes syndrome, HLA B5 and HLA B51. And once again, BMICA6 allele is associated with that. So once again, B4, we can remember the vasculitis, B4 venous thrombosis, and once again, B4 bathology test. Means the bathology test, once again, Puncture pre posture, it will be helpful to remember the pathogenesis rule of P once again. So, once again, you must remember the Bashes syndrome equal to BS 
plus PQRST, U, a big U, then V. So all of these things together and the summary of the Bechet syndrome, it will be helpful to remember and also making your answers correctly and confidently. Thank you very much.